Quiet on the set! You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Virginia. In no other better freaking place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch. No other than a dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. And greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack, and we're about to be booted from this instance. <laughs> Because the oh, instance really? is closing in less than one minute. Oh, so there must have been a server. That? I saw it on right as the intro was playing. Um, oh, I did not see that pop up on my yeah, screen. Yeah, so it's going to... We are in friends-only mode today just because we can be. Is, so, uh, maybe is that, is that because I booted you from the guilt party, maybe? Oh, uh, Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Let's Oopsie. see. Let's see. Let's is, see if is that what it is? Back on in. I mean, so I was booted from the party, and let's see what happens to the instance. Is uh, well, in the meantime, Dex is here. Here, I is here. I see list floating around somewhere. I saw list open an umbrella. Yep, she's here. Yeah, so Let's I mean, see her. Oh, there she is. Okay, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, list can always summon me back, and uh, from there, I can look at the loading screen. But while we're doing <laughs> that, uh, today is Valentine's Day for everybody. Yes, today is Tuesday, February fourteenth, two thousand seventeen, here in Shrouded Avatar, no. and all those lovers out there getting yep. all. This is what I get for you mm. kicking me out of out of the party. This is what I get on Valentine's Day. I tell you, I love you, baby. You know that. Hey, it's me and Blood Omen. <laughs> me and Blood Omen. Just for, sound like. That's right. Hey, hey, Laz likes the tongue, and he does have the the lips of chaos that are plus five. We ain't right along. Love you, baby. <laughs> yeah. Since since I'm not cool enough for uh, Laz's instance, um, I have to get back. Did, up, guys. did you want to invite Laz? Invite Laz, or, or invite me again and yes, Blood Omen? I'm doing that as we speak. I invited Blood Omen earlier. Uh, I have to do him again. Look like he had logged off. Off like uh, switching modes, as it may be. Yeah. But there we go. Did you get yours? I don't see you. Not yet. I have not. Huh. Radio music is still playing in the background, according to somebody. I don't know who that would be. Uh. uh why? Okay. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I got booted Oops. out of my own instance. <laughs> So we, we still have uh, lots of information. Um, so a stand-up corner was just put out a few minutes before the show for Monday, February 13th. If you want to go, go over that while uh, you're sending invites and people are teleporting around. It uh, was just put out. I have Mondays already listed from yesterday, but that's okay. That's who uh, List <laughs> summoned me. That's what it is. Ah, uh, thank uh, you, List. Thank you. I summoned you. Are you here now? Yes, you are. Very I, good. I am, I am here. I am on my lot. So now I can uh, type in play in a god. Play some music. Yes, That's you right. needed this summon. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, you yes. was already still in a party. That's why you weren't getting it. You didn't leave the party after you were kicked. Even yeah. though you were kicked from the instance, which is uh, very interesting. But let's move it right along. Let's get right down to the good stuff. A lot of good information out there. Uh, got a few good pictures stuff. to show you folks mm -hmm. today. Uh, they have released a whole bunch of new sketch fabs just recently. 
And you saw one or two of those yesterday. Again, update, but we didn't show you some of the things like the attack cat and the attack dog and the oh, attack no. raven and the assassin and all that good stuff. So Are all these sorts combat of good pets. Stuff. Uh, these, well, we'll talk about that when we get there. So let's go ahead. Now folks out there. Okay, so over in the, uh, this is yesterday's stand-up corner. Don't forget, the stand-up corner is where the devs sit there, stand up, and they say, hey, I'm working on this today. I worked on this yesterday. Something random gets written down, and eventually it ends up on the forums where we get to interpret what they're doing. So over in the art department, Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. He was Cult working of Bob. Topiary integration and water platforms. Now Ooh. you'll be able to have the floating hot tub in the sky. Floating. Oh. The the, the levitating sky. hot tub might be coming. That's going to be bringing fishing to a whole new level, ain't it? I know. New guy Damon was working on the fire visual effects updates. Fletch still lives. Fletch lives. Working on the Cobalt Merchant. Kevin working on the Kabbalist and the forums post. The almighty Gix Vargach, Matt Pshhh. He's trying to rig some avatars and working on some animation updates while he also plays around with the new Kobold animations. And we did get some sampling of that in the Sketchfab drawings with the, the Kobolds. Absolutely some cool and stuff, that, yeah. The, the fact that the uh, the guy with the the gun brought it up to aim was pretty cool looking. And yeah. you could see his body reverberate, you know, Twitching. from kickback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, cool animation, man. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, Reed working on the decoration instruments and big trees. Big trees. Anything <laughs> like the big salad. Well, it depends on whether or not you want it tossed or not. Uh, it's True. True. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. Over or in design. Does that mean we're going to see Ents? I don't know. Maybe Ents would be nice. Mm. Uh, yes. As well as, you know what? I would like some pine trees, some maple trees, some oak trees, some you. Oh, we have uh, pine and maple. You, you can go chop them down, but go look at it. And does that look like a pine tree or a maple tree? Hey, I'm not talking about <laughs> what it actually looks like. Or pecan, yeah. pecan nuts from a pine tree. I, I, yeah, well. <laughs> mm -hmm. don't, don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Over the, the, squir the squirrels are carrying around those pecan nuts, too. It, yeah, they must know Mr. Planner or something. I don't know. Yeah, so over in design, uh, B. Cotton working on the patterns and kobolds. Sea Wolf. Sea wolf. As working on the coastal assets and the map kickoff meeting and bugs. Laz, bugs. send me an invite right now. Send you an invite. Yeah, right Dan now. working on the crawl spawns. Crawl. Crawl spawns. Fire Lotus. Working on the stone soup quest. Just because, you know what? Everybody needs some stone soup, especially if Princess Kinga is involved. Oh, soup quest. Yes. And yes, Princess Kinga was obsessed, obsessed with her stone soup. She was cutting up people as she slayed them and bringing the body parts back to the soup. Yeah, so she is a little fine young cannibal and... Uh, the fine young cannibals uh, have made her an honorary member. Um, Daddy has taught her well. That's right. Sanio was working on Novia collision updates and dynamic critters and upper fortis. Lum the mad. The mad. The perturbed. Working on something funny with the conversation system cache architecture and screck multiplayer Shrek. mode hmm things that make you go mm. yeah sorcerer steve was playing around on the live stream and working on 
the Rune Ruins Polish. Polishing the ruins. That's right. Then Travis working on the fun thing of Mario Kart in Shroud of the Avatar with the minecart rides. And, That'll love it. And bugs. Bug. Minecart. Right to see these, I tell you. And why am, why am I not playing? I don't know. 10 today's Monday. There. Now I'm playing. Uh, then after that, over in tech, we had Bobby working on the airship and character deletion confirmation and platforms. Eric working on the, some siege updates. Jason working on file input output optimizations and code reviews. Wizard Smoke is Puff Puff <laughs> passing as he works on customer service tools. The Deathbringer one and only working on animation support and hot bar updates and unity upgrade and bugs. Yes, hot bar updates. Well, way overdue. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that stuff's been necessary for years. Emote hot bar, please. <clears throat> Ooh. Not just, he, he, well, you, you know what? We already have that as a window. I don't know. If, okay, hot bar. Just have it down there so you just click on the icon. And, okay, yeah, 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 like waves yeah, and bows. I can do that, or, yeah. Right. They're already draggable for traits, so it makes sense. Yeah. Well, the, they're all using the same icon, though, so they would actually have to go do the artwork for all the of different course. emote. Love to see it UO style and just drag it from your list and place it someplace in the corner of your screen. But, oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, go with the, the UO interface of the very, very messy desktop. Hey, I like my messy desktop. Thank you very much. Hey, it was functional. It was very functional. It was. Yeah, the problem I found is is my emote list keeps growing, and there's certain moments where I want to like you know have timing on my emotes, but I can't ever pull it off as I'm searching through a massive list without a filter or anything, you know. And even then, even if you had a filter, the time I'm doing the emotes, it's, it makes it really rough to you know. Timing is everything. Yes, exactly. Then, burning toad. The burn. Still scratching the itch that can't be found as he works on the Unity upgrade and Magic Movers. Magic Movers. Yes. Taslo working on some store architecture updates and metric support and Max and Linux clients. Oh, they need some love. Need a lot of love. <laughs> just, just, just a wee bit. Just a titch. Yeah. Just a tip of love for those guys. Yeah. Over in QA, Eric working on <laughs> sanity tests and QA forms. The <laughs> Attenwood working on sanity tests and regression testing and QA forms. Ah, I misspelled Get something. This music. <laughs> Pew, pew. Wrong hey, game. Hey, hey. Wrong, wrong spelling. It's <laughs> trying to play a new song. Where was it? Where was it? Well, you're playing it in the wrong place. That's uh, definitely... Uh... There. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You, you need then, some sheet music. Well, yeah. I need to convert all of this to sheet music. But the only problem is sheet music still weighs one pound and you can quickly become overweight just walking around with That's lots right. of sheet music. Very easy. Yeah. Yeah. You then, have to stop putting a set list down in front of you, you know. And these yep. are the songs you're playing today. Click, 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 click. <laughs> That's right. Click, 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 click as I'm typing. Serafina working on regression tests and deco icon creation and customer service. And QA forums. Sarah just digging in. Busy yeah. girl. 
yes she is then our production management other otherwise known as the useless overhead the dippy bird working on meetings and the cash server and poisons poisons will they be functional stay tuned will you be able to kill lord british by poisoning some bread by poisoning his bread that's right that's right will we need be to be able to apply it to our blades yes we'll be able to sneak it into people's backpacks oh sneak it into their backpacks that would well, be cool pocketing worked both yeah. ways as i recall you can drop stuff as well and yeah you're and leave leave food for your enemy so it's a time bomb no oh uh, that, that would be pretty damn sweet but th <laughs> then they would have to bring back the snooping skill yeah yeah <clears throat> and then we can just go by brit bank and watch everybody just like somebody is snooping somebody is snooping somebody is snooping and then vendor bank guards yeah know what what are we gonna do vendor bank guards Vendor bank gods buy sell. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Rectu resu rexu. Uh, then Gorn working on his trusty red speedo as he works on add-on store updates and the weekly update and general business. General business. Yes. Then Barrack oh, working on all our poison dreams will come true. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Barrack working on the weekly update and community events and customer support and live stream and reports. Hutch working on the Shogun wall decorations and new decorations and meetings. Meetings. Yes, Lord Br British is jeering some entries. He's in jeer land. And meetings and general business. Business. That's right. Chaos. Touching up decorations. And icons <laughs> and database reward offers. That's bad list. That's bad. But see, that's what I'm talking about. I used to sell a table of cupcakes, <laughs> and friends, but random for GM poisoned um, and then sold and then GM, sold antidote. GM antidote. That that's right <laughs> for five k. That's awesome. Uh, that's then classic. Last but not least, Darkstar working on the weekly update and release 39 up post and asset reviews and map direction and general business. More business. More business. Boys are getting down to business. That's right. They're 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 not doing the business. They're going straight to the business. I tell you. But yes, all sorts of good stuff going on. And again, Fast and Furious, we're going to be seeing changes coming out like you will just, you've never seen before. Uh, content, content, content. Now, uh, I had a couple of things, of course. Uh, one, one was uh, the skills question I posted earlier. And I, that's not a major one. Uh, but I do want to get to the sketch fabs and show off some of these... Uh, new uh you know, new npcs as it may be coming out well uh, i'm lo i'm loading that up right now so we've i'm looking at the sketch fab site so we've got 83 models which ones are you looking for let's start work attack dog how about that okay gotta f gotta find that one gotta find that one Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> View all. 83. Clockwork Attack Dog. It is you loading dog. right now. Yes. You dirty, dirty dog. You dog. So Clockwork <laughs> Attack Dog is the has the nice evil red eyes. It is pissed off and it's raring to go and ready to eat some people. Now, uh, Thex had asked about these. Are these going to be combat pets? Now, my understanding is these are going to be kobold attack pets. I don't believe that the player... Well, instead... If at all. Instead of taming, you would need some sort of engineering in order to build one. 
which which actually would make it a, a new skill set to, to, for people to actually make that if they want to advance the skill tree some. Would that mean they can make clockwork dragons later on, stuff like that? Absolutely. Although it, it would I'm, be the mini version. Gonna have like a steampunk crafting skill? Or a clock punk as it may be? Exactly. I mean... There we go. I mean, if you're breaking the thing, you should be able to figure out how to put it together. Well, that's how we find out. We reverse engineers. That's right. I mean, <laughs> I'd like to see a crashable uh, clockwork golem. Oh, that would interesting, be pretty sweet. Interesting. Yeah. But uh, let's bring the cat up next. Is uh, looks pretty awesome. I gotta admit. Oh, see, I, I'm a I'm a cat lover myself, so uh, I, I am going to be the single cat guy. But yeah, I've got my cat pets, but uh, the, the, the cat looks so over. much, so much more evil. I mean, those that jaws, face just looking at yeah. it, man. Just yeah, the the way the the teeth look razor it's like, sharp. It's like the ah. claws just look like really put a hurting on you. I'm telling you, the attack pussy is going to come by and bite it all off. You know, and the the eyes on this one just seem to penetrate you. I don't know. Ah, uh, evil. Being penetrated while being ripped apart by those claws. Hmm. Interesting Valentine's Day. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's later on tonight. Never mind. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I already have plans for dinner. <laughs> so yeah. That's good. <laughs> So what other clock... I mean, do we want to look at the clockwork attack raven real quick as well? Uh, might as well, since we've got it there. Because <laughs> this one, you know, I, I can see putting, uh, you know, a murder of these out there and uh, really being an annoyance if you, you know, ran into well, a flock of these. The, the, the important thing is whether or not it drops bombs. And I'm not seeing any kind of a uh, fissure in the... Uh, the back end that would allow it to drop bombs so there is no opening no aperture yeah. of any kind at the back know, this, that would allow this, this, bombs this to be dropped round spot at the back it could drop yeah but that's that's not where i would be that's not where yeah, it'd be coming from so it would be a little bit further up so i don't know whether or not the uh, the attack raven is going to be dropping bombs and painting the screen white <laughs> Now that would be funny, but and, and the amount of damage from those this. bombs I mean, is much higher, just because it requires you to. It would be some sort of acid bomb that eats through your armor, right, right and, through your plate armor, melts and, your plate armor, and you have to take it off in order to continue the fight. So yeah, to clean it off. Being a rat inside your plate armor when you're deathly afraid of rats. Yeah, and I think I've seen the Assassin Automaton a few times before. I mean, I believe he used to give out some uh, quests. Some quest hats. I don't know. Is uh, I gotta get this on screen. I didn't look at this one as closely as I looked at the pets. Well, I mean, this this one was probably the easiest to do just because they did have the uh, the clockwork guy from before to use as the model for this one. So, yes, no I mean, need to have them. We have automaton pets. Yes. I mean, come on. We've had them for a while. I'm aware of that. You act like I don't know these things. You don't see anybody using them, though. The only one no. who uses one that I know of is Zeke, and he... Use because it's heat, you know. But uh, <laughs> well, most of the time, I, uh, I I leave my my pet that even my Baron pet that says cheap scrolls near the bank in my inventory. Yeah. So or in, in a chest. So uh, that's some of the new stuff that they've got coming out. I expect to see this introduced. Um, I'm thinking next release coming up here. Did, you didn't even look at the Highland Broadsword. 
Well, we hadn't gotten to that. I wanted to talk about pets oh, first. Is okay, that okay? okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know if we were getting completely off of sketch fabric or uh, not. I mean, well, we you, did talk you... about the uh, the other wrappings for the swords yesterday. But yeah, well, that's enough. The Highlander broadsword. Now we don't know whether this is going to be something that you can find. You can. Craft. Uh, we're I mean, actually it, it, using it, that. See, for me, the, the Highlander broadsword. I don't know if it should have the basket hilt. Yeah, that's that's what really got me. Was uh, I mean that throws me because I I don't associate a basket hilt with a Highlands at all. I mean, not yeah. That that's not that wouldn't be my opinion. I would expect a bigger, you know, more of a broadsword. Yeah, like a claymore or something like that. Yes, and absolutely. Something yeah. absolutely insanely huge. But I mean, yeah. The, the, I mean, that's just a matter of renaming this sword to something that would be more appropriate. And and I think Richard would sit there and say, "Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right." I mean. I, I don't know if that would be the way to go, but it is pretty cool. And of course, you gotta love them uh, giving us these sketch fabs to look at as well. Oh yeah, and drool over for a few weeks beforehand. Drool, drool. that's right. And drool. Tease us with stuff we can't have just yet. Exactly. Yeah, dirty bastards. <laughs> dirty, dirty bastards. So uh, let's t let's hit on this topic. Uh, well, first off, I'm still banning people from lots. If anybody knows how to properly ban somebody from a lot, please let me know. <laughs> Cornelius wanted wants to know why my throne is sticky. I don't know. Somebody told me my seat. If I had been there and I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but uh, let me pull this up again. And this up there earlier. Somebody asked Barrick the question about hold skills on. for. Hold, hold on. I'm, there, there, there's. I, I need to find that. Well, I can talk about it while you find it. It's not on screen yet. Okay. You know, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Hey, hey, someone has to play these songs. Hey, I, I can do that and not kill you, you know. I told and, you, and, I, and, I do, and, I do set you lists. Need to, I set them up in advance. I should have known Spiff wasn't going well, to be set that it, up. It is that uh, day. So, so we, the, we had uh, other pressing things we were trying to take care of. But, are you, uh, you going to send me a link? Oh, do you oh. need the link? It's already oh, yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. See, I found it. I found it. I found it. It's there. That's why I do this in the morning. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ready. <laughs> All righty. And the question was a uh, question about skills for Jack of all trades or master of all trades. And, uh, yeah, the question goes, uh, I was, was really and someone mentioned about users running around with 70 gm 75 gms which got me wondering the direction of direction in this regards i do remember the devs saying they wanted to wanted users to have skills in multiple schools but to which degree isn't and okay and then he goes on to ask his question um as to is it intended for the future of users to be able to maintain the 60 to 80 gms uh, as there will be spots so hard that even these users will not be able to fight alone or I do a jack of all trades master of none uh, where users can only be able to hold 10 or you know, 20 you now adventure 20 10 yeah. to 20 which would actually allow you to GM an entire a couple of different trees, and I think that that actually becomes a little bit more specific. Well, see, now, this is where <clears throat> I want to bring back what I had originally said on this topic. Okay, when you have a tree, 
and I want to bring up, I'm going to bring up like uh, swords just as the most uh, general one. So it's got five trees on there. When somebody hits a hundred in bladed combat, that should not give them a grandmaster title. Okay. In my opinion, when you've got a hundred in all these skills, you should then be granted the grandmaster title. And I think that's what's confusing a lot of people because, you know, getting a GM in what do we have? One, three, four different yeah. skills here for one physical skill. So he would need 10 GMs to grandmaster swords or bladed so, combat. But, but they're all listed separately, which I think is a fallacy in the game's GM system, my opinion. Thoughts, comments. Laz, are you trying to take away one of my four GMs? Is that what you're trying to do? I'm I'm trying to make it he's, so that he's trying to take away all four of them. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. I mean, Hold on. We have to look at the tailoring tree. Is there a? Yeah, he's trying to take away all four. They'd have to make it where if you did that, bladed combat didn't give you an extra boost in your, the power of bladed combat and all the other skills. I'm sorry. Wait. They would actually have to redesign from the ground up all, the entire skill based system and what it means to GM something, what it means for these bonuses. And when they start doing that, that is. I don't think so. I think the only thing they would have do to do Yolo. is, is Yolo. Fast and Furious changes. How you get on there. I don't think they would have to restructure the whole system. They could they could make it so that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten equals yeah. Or you just want a visual tick or? Well, again, you know the guy's asking the question because you see people. I mean, we have somebody right here uh, in our party. He's got five GMs. We got somebody else in the party. He's got four GMs, but they've only got a GM in one skill under. As multiple skills, I don't count that as being a grandmaster. I'm hey, sorry, hey. I just don't see it. Man. I hate to tell you this, but Schneider has three skills in the bladed, bladed combat tree that are GM'd. Understandable, not enough. But, but that still <laughs> wouldn't count as grandmaster, and still doesn't oh, yeah. count in my opinion. You know, oh, well, yeah. you got to grandmaster all those to be entitled. That's Schneider, that's the way uh, I believe it should have been done. No, well, with, 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 with I mean, that would just be renaming him as an expert swordsman. I'm fine with expert that. That would be great. <clears throat> that would be expert fantastic. until he levels everything. Then he's a grandmaster. Um, and then be fantastic. So all you want is a label change from grandmaster until you've fulfilled the hundred percent in every single one of the trees to expert. Correct. But how would that uh, screw with apprenticeship? Well, if you're well, an expert in some one skill, you can always train someone you, else. The in that apprenticeship skill, so. would work under the same rule, just under an expert apprenticeship. Now, of course, I would say if program was like that. You would add a functionality that when you had somebody who was a full GM, that apprentice would really get a nice boost in sh in training over the single, uh, you know, expert level. You understand? So if you're just, uh, you know, one expert in swords, you know, get a little faster in swords. But if you find a grand master who in those classes, that training when you apprentice would then intensify because of the training of the grand master. And grand master is thrown around way too loosely. And understandably, with a question like this up on the board, going, you know, how is that? And then, of course, how is decay defined? Um, Chris has told us that, you know, I was talking to Yumari. I'll give you an example. And I just pick in his brain. I says, Yumari, what do you what do you spec yourself out as when you go out hunting? And he says, Laz, I don't go out with any less than pounds of equipment and five different changes of armor now because... Every time I go into a different scene, I am age, depending. So this guy's walking around with 300 plus pounds of equipment just to get out the gate and go hunting. Okay. And to do three and four 
woods to go hunting because of the changes they've made. So I think Grandmaster should have another look at, especially, you know, the way. And, uh, yeah, needs a little work. Well, because I mean, th that's where it's the they really do need to put some sort of limiter in the the number of skills that someone can GM in. So that way they become specialist, and it's it's one way now, that that also again, they that also becomes specialization. The, there I'm is no such you. there is no such thing as specialization when you have characters running around with a hundred plus GMs. Which there are. From the notebooks of Lazarus Long, specialization. <laughs> okay. I mean, um, th th there's a reason that he can run around with five suits of armor and f and use essentially five different builds while he's out hunting. It's because he knows what's most efficient on different mob types. And, understandable and it's one you where want to go out that becomes one where it's essentially gaming the system let me ask you a question he is do you carry right now oh me yeah uh, well you also know that uh, i my, just answer the question just answer the question 251 okay okay he's carrying more weight than you can carry without going overweight just to walk out the door I don't. Uh, I don't think but he I'm, really is. The the that five suits of yeah. armor doesn't weigh three hundred pounds. Um, you know, reagents for a day's hunt. Okay, uh, ammo. You you, for, you have to remember. You have to remember for arrows. reagents. Listen, if you I'm, if you I'm level up those skills, they don't. Here. They you know, don't. This is what he told me. I'm just telling you. He what, might be running around with three hundred stones. Gear. I have four sets of gear in my backpack, a bunch of different weapons, and it's fifty pounds. Four sets of what kind of gear? Uh, cloth, chain, uh, white iron, and bone. And it only weighs 50 pounds. You've got a full pounds. set of plate in your... In, in I have bone, bone plate. I don't have a, I don't have oh. a regular... I have white iron chain and uh, But bone. plate isn't going to weigh that much more. I'm... So the, I, I'm calling... hammer that I'm, adds an extra six pounds. It weighs a hell of a lot more... <laughs> But anyway, but, moving but, right along. Cosmetic sets, so. Moving <laughs> right along. When you have somebody who's carrying stuff like that and the skill sets needed to switch, what, one of the things we talked about because of these changes that have come along, and we know that's coming, so I'm not going to harp on that. But I just believe with the question that was posed here, it was worth talking about that GM is thrown around way too casually and i really don't believe they really conceptualized it properly when they started using that terminology in this game my two cents end of soapbox anybody want to follow up on that? i i still say you need to restrict the number of skills that someone can actually do well, then you're going to have people going, oh, but then you promised open play and blah, 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 and we open up that can of worms. So, I mean, I'm not asking that, you know, essentially, you can w go right into that and grandmaster expert and add a little piece of code that says when all 10 equal 100, then give. I don't think I don't believe that's a very hard chain. But, yeah, I'm no coder. But there needs to be lots right, of changes man. to combat. Hey, moving right along, one of yeah, the no, one of the devs <laughs> is taking a short hiatus from oh. the Portalarium crew, and that's because Laz doesn't know what he's ever talking about. I don't know nothing. I just Scotty work. Scotty has decided that he needs to take a few weeks to finish his second book for his role playing game, and he won't be back until mid March. Ah, okay. Well, that's a noble reason to be taking a break. And, uh, you know, if we know Scotty and his storytelling and all that fun, that's going to be some great stuff. Yeah, so it, 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 
Make sure and check out shardrpg.com for news on that second book. It should be coming shortly. He's last I heard from him, he was actually in the the portion of uh, editing and trying to revise everything and get it ready for publication. So he was reading it backwards, going sentence by sentence. Reading it back. Yeah, you, you don't know about that as far as editing. You read each sentence in isolation so that way you can fix the grammar for one individual sentence. If you read things forward, you tend to miss things. Interesting. Yeah. It doesn't Very mean read each word backwards. It just means take it out of con that one individual sentence out of context and read it in isolation to fix the grammar. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That's the easiest the way to do that is... The, the easiest, lesson for today, boys and girls. Yeah, the easiest way to do that is to start at the end and then work your way up. <laughs> Reading backwards. Reading backwards. Very nice. Did not know that. We did not know that. Anyway, moving right along. We got anything else we got to cover? We have to cover before we uh, move on to the, today's calendar and closing closing out of today's uh, show. Or uh, we just going to start moving on over into uh, into that. I don't know what you're doing anyway, so. I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. There is no script here on this show. Today's show was brought to you by Chaos. <laughs> today's... Uh... Today's show brought to you by Laz can't figure out how to ban someone from his lot. Yes, oh. that's right. And we're in friends only mode and <laughs> people are asking me, why are you in antisocial game mode? <laughs> yes, because we're being antisocial laddie. That was me. It's all, it's all, hey, shh, I wasn't outing shh. you. See, he outed himself. I know. <laughs> Look who's talking about antisocial mode. Goes away for weeks at a time without telling anybody and wants to know, ask us about why we're in antisocial mode. I tell you. Kill him. <laughs> Just be his friend on Steam and then you'll know exactly where he's at. Uh huh. I don't have to. I don't have to do that. As I get every time he uh, goes online to stream, I get a message. So. Oh, I, I know what game he's playing and where he is at all times. Are you me? <laughs> I've got the video camera set up in his room, so, so it's even easier. Yeah. Twitch has given me the power to watch all your streams as you stream them live. And gives me a nice little notification on my phone. I can't believe he plays <laughs> YouTuber's life so much. <laughs> Well, it's, it, I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> yep, yep, never mind. <laughs> so sad. So sad. Uh, You're killing me, Smalls. You. Killing me. I mean, all right, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and get today's calendar out of the way for everybody. Tell them folks how to. what's going on around. Uh, where's the calendar located at? Calendar? It's located on our website. You can go to nbnn.info, click on the calendar there, which has uh, got a list of all of the calendars. You can check Portalarium's calendar, Avatar Circle, or Events of the Avatar from the NBN as well. You can check out the news where you NBNN Daily Britannian every day. We put it for every day, folks, if you all didn't know that. Uh, it has all sorts of great real real time articles like for Valentine's Day today the top headline was half of Americans think women should be required by law to take husband's name and that was the headline in today's news that was great that, about, that, that was a tweet <laughs> out by Richard and the that funny was. thing about that is uh I mean that's all circumstance and de cultural i mean if you look at most uh, hispanic cultures with the taking of people with the the hyphenated last names right. well so well, it, it, we're, we're, we're yeah because i believe truthfully that most people believe it it 
shit shouldn't, you know. And Richard is a prime example of one of those people who not only broke the norm, but him oh, and his yeah. wife sat down and discussed and broke their up and put them all back together so that they had something they were both happy with. Uh, I think it would have been funnier. Yeah, he, he took part of her name, right? Yes, yes he, he took her name. The, his full name is Richard Garriott de Caillou. And, uh, yeah, so I just thought it was an interesting article. But uh, just back to the point is, yeah, we have a newspaper out there every day that you can subscribe to. Uh, you'll see all the videos that are pers posted from the day before. Or picked up in the newspaper on the 8th edition part of the newspaper. You'll see around Britannia, stuff from the pub, artwork, plans, and more. So you can check out the NBN leak calendar as well as well there's this link soda con store all up on the nbnn site so if you're looking for any nbnn swag or soda con swag you can check it out there as well so moving right along mm. to today's shroud of the avatar community calendar since Laz already covered that it is an aggregate of a bunch of other social calendars, if you would like your community calendar added to the NBNN calendar or to make the Try to the Avatar community calendar as complete as humanly possible, please message Laz and he'll get your calendar added. Just use a Google calendar and make it public and send him a link and he That's will right. add that sucker right away. Uh, today is February 14th. Valentine's Day for those of you that can't remember that. Don't forget to get Yay. your significant other something very, very special for today. All times on the calendar are Central Standard Time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as New Britannia New Time. New Britannia Time. Don't forget, That's VIP right. tickets are still available for SodaCon in October. That includes the extra special guided tour of the Portalarium offices by none other Richard Garriott Lord De British Caillou. De Caillou the Lord yes himself and it's a great tour so uh, it's a cheap price to pay to get that guided tour uh, only three last look so uh, there's only a dozen out there and we're just a little over for a month sale so uh, if you want to get them, I would expect those three to go very, very, very soon. Very soon. I'm going to buy them and scalp them. That's right. <laughs> scalp them at the thing, just so that way you can be like... I'm going to stand in front of the office there. Psst, tickets. tickets. Yeah. Tour tickets. Psst. Yeah. And if you know that you are not going to be able to attend SodaCon and you want the rare cloak, non-attendee cloaks are still available for donations to SodaCon Austin. Uh, early bird tickets are still ongoing and they will be going on until April Fool's Day. It'll be April Fool's when the tickets for early bird sales expire. And that is correct. April Fool's. Is that a joke please. or is it not? The joke is. We don't know. <gasps> the, that's right. Today on the calendar, as I've also gone to include the popular holidays, you'll see Valentine's Day. So if those of you who forget about it, it's on the calendar. What are you talking about? Today at noon, 3, 6, 9, and 12, around the clock, there are two idiots that don't know what the hell they're doing, don't know what they're talking about, can't even interpret the news correctly on a show called Lunch with Laz and Jack. Chaos, I tell you. Chaos. With Randomness <laughs> in friends-only mode today. Just because it's one troll. It's then, a social mode. At 2 p.m. this afternoon, you can always join Sean Silverfoot for the... Pax Layer Town Manager Hour, so that way you too can learn about any of the boroughs surrounding L Pax Layer. Dragon's Watch, Tenekill, Lockbriar, Island of Wonders, Nowhere, Sea Nymph Grotto, and Serenity Isle. Serenity Isle. Yes, go talk to Sean if you're interested in becoming a citizen, holding a lot, or any other questions related to Pax Layer. At 3 p.m., the EVL Guild is hosting an 
a dungeon crawl that is very Euro friendly with Winter Mute Offcough leading that outside of the overworld map on, of uh, outside of Owl's Head on the overworld map. At 4 p.m., Amber Rain's taking over the Avatars Radio for the Sequana Bravery Dinner and Dance. That's going to be between 4 and 8. Where in the Sakana Brasery? At 7 p.m. this evening. Right beneath the statue of the Titan of Love. Uh huh. Yep. At 7 p.m., mm. the EVL Monster Mash Dungeon Run is being headed up by Zenny. That is also meeting on the overworld map outside of hey. Owl's Head. If you're not interested in running around with the EVL crew and you'd rather hang out with the Jade Dragons, the Jade Dragons are having the their dungeon run of the Chillblains Compendium of Pain and Suffering. That's also going to begin at 7 p.m. If you need more information, contact Malhari for more information. And last but not least, DJ Seleth takes over Avatar's Radio at 10 p.m. for Temper Tantrum Tea Days. And that's our community calendar for this Valentine's Day in Shroud of the Avatar. Shroud of the Avatar. With a proper PvP penis. Here's a calendar missing off there. <coughs> yeah, the uh, WRFB one? Mm hmm. Um, I think I know who that. would be responsible for that. Some dude yeah, by the name of know. Laz. I don't know what the hell will happen there, but that's all right. We'll get that fixed in a few minutes. <laughs> a few Just hours, a few days. That. Few days, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that means it's time for us to thank our sponsors, and don't forget, NBNN is a proud sponsor of SodaCon Austin. Don't forget, if for more information, you need to go to SodaConAustin.org, and you can always talk to the PR person responsible for that and. Some guy that always wears a Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian shirt. I, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that would be. But yes, it's the time of the day. We got to say thanks to the good folks out there who help keep us going out here. And of course, I uh, want to say, of course, thank you to good folks over at WRFB. I don't know why that didn't change. I said that to change. I even said it today and it didn't change. <laughs> no, you didn't. Ah, oh, don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what right. you're talking it's, about. Don't know what you're talking it's, about, it's, but it's you like, can catch our show every day. <laughs> be dot rocks. And for all your entertainment and listening pleasure, don't forget Wake Up New Britannia on Saturdays on WRFB. GrimyTraders.com, the auction house that lets you do some auction free. It's free to list, it's free to sell, it's free to do everything. It's a buyer's premium. That means the buyer pay at the end. And check it out at GrimyTraders.com. Official sponsors of NBNN, the auction John Farms for your wholesale cotton reagents, vegetables, ale, and more. Located in Dawn's Keep, just south of Central Brittany. And if you need bulk, you can also find them available on the marketplace. Our good friend Guild, our home, home guild, you to come check out Market Road. Market Road for all your shopping convenience and crafting materials, all at regular. A prices, no haggling necessary. Located near the Exeter Mines for your mining convenience. Hey, I make this up as I go every day. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> no script, no script. <laughs> Sodamap.com. Sodamap is truth. So says Lord British. Heard him say it with my own two ears. I did, I did. That's right. Now introducing Soda Navigator, your mini GPS for getting your. Avatar. 
Our good friend Ben over at Relics by Rilled, who helped supply a lot of that swag for last Friday's telethon. And of course, if you want shirts, hats, patches, and more, go to relicsbyrilled.com. Use the promo code NBNN when you check out, and you can save 10% off all your licensed shrouded avatar swag. And of course, last but not least, our good friends over at the marketplace, Shroud Marketplace. Stop all your virtual vendable needs And see when this stops I stop it and tomorrow it's going to screw up On me again watch <laughs> I told you how to reset it I did I that did. right before the show Today I'm killing no, me not, killing. No you didn't, no, you didn't. <laughs> But Shroud Take Marketplace Shroud Marketplace is the place oh to go my. Buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar Related Just go. You can register for a an account just by clicking on the vendor registration, or if you are interested in selling your goods, click on the vendor registration. Getting your shop set up is relatively easy, and you can be just like one of the latest merchants, Cynix Legio, who has been out selling a bunch of gold ingots and diamonds and others and some onyx. All of that is available, including a rusted iron greenhouse. Shroud Marketplace, the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. From accounts all the way through services, you can be like these other guys that have decided that they would like to collect some real life cash for their in-game services that they provide for others, like Wolfdom's cheese sign writing. Cheesy writing. So to design Only services. Shroud of the Avatar. Yeah. Scroda's music service for $5 gets you. Everything you want. Or Weddings and More by Laz. That's right. Weddings and More by Laz. Not just weddings, but a whole bunch more. If you need some place to live, you need a rental, you're looking for a chest, a place to call home. Give Laz a call. He's got you set up. We'll get you a nice little cozy place to go check out life. Weddings and more by me. That's right. Shroud Marketplace. That's what I should change it to. Weddings and more by me. By me. Yeah. <laughs> Shroud Marketplace, the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Yay. And that means it's time for us to actually talk about the most important people around here. Yay. That is you guys. Thank you for watching out on Twitch, right. YouTube, you guys. or listening to WRFB. Even following us into anti-social mode when we need to on occasion. Yes. So that we can get a nice, clean show. Yeah, so thank you, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for donating, becoming... Laz's Patreon, and don't forget the extra special Patreon rewards that have been shipped out, including, including customized t-shirts, and That's right. hats, all kinds of other goodies, coffee mugs, all of that just for supporting NBNN on Patreon. Bumper stickers. Bumper stickers, yes. That's right. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be introducing a bundle for the big, big donors. Uh, They get all of the above, but I'll have to get that added this week. But yes, uh, different tiers for support out there. Of course, you get and thanks every day just for being here. You don't have to be a supporter, but every dollar does help keep this going. Pays for the bandwidth, the domain names and all this other good stuff that keeps us on the air. So. Uh, we do appreciate it. We do thank you guys, and we love you guys as much as we love this sh- shit. And of course, can't tell you how much we love this shit from day to day. Is uh, new stuff coming down the pipe daily? Lots of stuff coming out into the office of Portalarium. Uh, new developer videos being released day in and day out, and we bring it to you all here, right on NBN Info. So stay tuned to NBNN for more news, sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans, and we bring it to you all here five days a week. With that, we're out of here. I'm Les. And I'm Jack. And we 
on end. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day to all you lovers out there. And we'll be back with more tomorrow. Have a great day. Can we get some baby making music to uh, exit out of here? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Not that kind of music, Jack. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's baby making music. For all Shit. the UO fans. You. <laughs> Don't need no more babies. Oh. Yeah. Oh my. Get a chub listening to this. Oh. What am I going to do now? Oh my. <laughs>